covering the rising price of paradise. We've been reporting on Florida's growing property insurance crisis for months now. And tonight we're looking at how a public adjuster could help you recover what you're owed when it comes to filing an insurance claim. Public adjusters work directly for homeowners instead of insurance companies. New here at six, I2 investigator Adam Walser finds out how they play a critical role. The evidence is all right here if you just look at it. Joseph Ross is doing what he's done for his entire career. That is dropping for some reason, and this is dropping. Figuring out what caused damage to an insured home and how much it will cost to fix. At this waterfront Clearwater Beach house, he believes a leaking pipe caused erosion, leading to cracks in the walls and ceiling. And it's a covered loss. This happens. This is nothing new. But what is new for Ross is he is no longer working for insurance companies. He now works directly for homeowners. So I go out there and assess the loss and give my recommendations for an estimate and a report and send it up to their office and they'd say, okay, pay the claim. That, I did that for 16 years and never really had much of a problem. Now it's, it's different. Ross says legitimate claims are often denied based on reports from engineers hired by insurance companies. And if the engineer says, says it's, it's one thing and that goes against the policy, then well, they're not paying it. At this home. And they told her that it was a sinkhole, it's not covered. Ross says no boring tests needed to determine sinkhole activity have been conducted. says dozens of homeowners have turned to him to help resolve Hurricane Ian claims going back more than a year. Most of the people that I've been trying to deal with aren't being paid anything. And they've had adjusters come they've out had there. They've had adjusters come out there, they've, they've multiple. They've had engineers come out to their houses multiple times. A Charlotte County homeowner lost 25 shingles and had significant damage during Hurricane Ian. But an engineer's report said the main problem with the roof framing is that the builder used green wood that was probably already slightly warped. Over time, as the wood dried, the warping became more exaggerated. That home was built in the 1980s. A different engineer hired by the homeowner attributed the damage to heavy wind and vibrations from Hurricane Ian, saying this is a safety hazard and needs to be repaired. And Ross says an engineer blamed insects, not a tornado, for damage to this Polk County home. The insurance company sent an engineer out there and he said, I found termite damage. And they used that to deny the claim. Mark Freelander represents the Insurance Information Institute. And in most cases, insurers acted with high levels of ethics and integrity in supporting their policyholders and paying legitimate claims that were filed for the storm. Are there any insurance companies that are doing a great job that are getting these claims settled quickly? Well, those would be the ones that we don't ever deal with as public adjusters. The Florida Department of Financial Regulation has acknowledged opening investigations into insurance companies denying or underpaying legitimate claims. And certainly action should be taken if it is determined that certain insurance companies were not following Florida's regulations. But a 2010 study by the Office of Program Policy Analysis and Government Accountability found that homeowners who used public adjusters after hurricanes in 2004 and 2005 received payments 747 percent higher than those who didn't. You know, we're here so that if they don't do what they're supposed to, the insurance company does not take care of you. That's where we step in. I'm my team investigator Adam Walser with photojournalist Matt McGlashan taking action for you. And to find out more about public adjusters here in Florida and for a list of adjusters in your area, go to our website, abcactionnews.com.